train coming through the snow. Uh, I'm tired of playing make-believe. Let's play something real. All right, let's be explorers. Sure, I know a good place to explore. away. What's the matter with her anyway? Maybe it's your gun. She doesn't like guns. Oh. Oh, well, I wasn't really pointing it at you. I thought it was something else. What's your name? Chuck. Never mind. It's not any of your business. Are you a hunter, mister? He's not a mister. He's just a boy. Is that so? Listen, you know what I carry this rifle for? Bears. Bears? Well, sure. You never know when you'll meet one. In these woods? Well, why not? There's one I see lots of times right in back of my own uncle's peach orchard. And that's not too far away. Say, you better look out. That might be a bear right now. There's a woodchuck that lives around here sometimes. I saw a wild turkey once. Ah, uh, you don't believe me either. Don't be so mad. My father saw a bear in Canada once. Ah, oh, go play with dolls. You guys will never be adventurers. Is that what you are? Timmy, look! There's a hidden camp. Well, sure. How else can a guy find adventures? You mean you live out here by yourself? Oh, I really come from St. Louis. But I've been visiting my uncle's farm and... Well, there wasn't much to do, so... Well, I decided to be an adventurer and camp out in the woods a while. Wow, is this where you sleep? I read in a book how to make a bed out of pine boughs, and it showed how to fix a fire to cook on. My Uncle Petrie told me about that once. What do you eat? Well, mostly cans of things. Until I can bring down a deer, or maybe I could even get that bear. Gosh, aren't you ever scared? I mean, without somebody like Lassie taking care of you. Scared? Ha! Huh. I've got old Betsy, haven't I? Golly, I wish I were a real adventure. I guess you really do see things when you live in the woods. Here, let me show you how I fixed my shelter. First, I got these poles to put the canvas on. And then I built the fire close to keep the varmints from getting in. And then I cut up all those pine boughs. Mom, we don't really need a fire. That's only so varmints won't get in. Because we've got Lassie. Varmints and wolves and bears and things. Oh, boys, please. Pine needles are softer than mattresses. We could put a horsehair rope around to keep out snakes. Hey, what's this all about? Oh, and they met an older boy who's camping, and now they'll talk of nothing else. We talked about it before, Mrs. Martin. Lots of times, too. We've always wanted to go. Well, you can't blame a couple of young boys for wanting to camp out. Oh, Paul, don't you think that... Maybe one day, when I finish work early, I could take them out myself. But we want to go alone, Mr. Martin. That's how you find adventures, Dad. Of course it is, son. I understand. You mean we can go? Could we go tonight? My mother would let me if you'd call her. Oh, I now, know she would. Just a moment. Oh, hold on, boys. I didn't really say yes to anything. Only, uh, suppose they'd try just once. Oh, Paul, don't you think they're too young? What, in a well-protected place? Sure, Lassie'd protect us. And those woods are safe. Well, I won't agree to it. Now, who said anything about the woods? Now, I don't see any harm in their starting their camping adventures in our barn. In the barn, there. Now, how would you like that? Well, I guess a little adventure is better than none. Yeah. Come on, let's go. What are we waiting for? Thanks, Mom and Dad. <laughs> well, I'll phone Boomer's mother. And I'll raid the icebox. Oh, Mom, not sheets. We're gonna 
That's it, boys. I fixed this loose gate so you don't have to worry about the cow getting out. It's all right, Dad. She wouldn't step on us. Even if she did, we wouldn't be scared. Your mother told me to look around for spiders, but I don't see any. Remember, we're still close by. Nothing's going to happen, Mr. Martin. You don't have to worry about us, Dad. Besides, we've got Lassie to protect us. All right. I'll stop worrying. Just so that you boys know, there's nothing to be afraid of. Except tripping over all this stuff, maybe. Hey, wait a minute. There can't be anything else you need. Uh, it's a thermos of warm soup in case they wake up hungry in the middle of the night. Good night, Mr. Martin. Good night, Mrs. Martin. Good night, Boomer. Good night. Night, Timmy. Well, they're all yours, Lassie. Take good care of them. Ah, the sky's nice and clear. Won't even be the sound of rain to bother them. You're quite sure they're going to be all right, aren't you? Well, there's absolutely nothing can happen. Even if there were, Lassie wouldn't let it. Timmy's so anxious for adventure. Mysterious danger and prowling beasts. I suppose they'll be really camping out soon. Well, he's growing up, you know. Timmy, what's the matter? Nothing. Now, there'll be no more snooping around in the dark, young man. One more trip and both of you will move back into the house. Nothing more you could possibly need. Flashlight batteries. Oh. Let me see. There you are. Gee, thanks, Dad. I wanted to make sure I could see any varmints. Michael's here. I bet he wouldn't just lay there. Shh. Oh, it's just your cow. I guess they always make noises when they sleep. Lassie knew. Bother anybody?
Daisy. Who is that? Who's there? Hey, look, it's Chuck. Hi, Chuck. What are you doing here? We're camping out, just like you. Except we're using hay instead of pine needles. I... I didn't know you fellas were in here. Didn't you come to see us? Well, I... I was out, and... I was just scouting around and investigating things. What kind of things? Well, you know... things you hear. Like firemen? Maybe... maybe even a bear. Wow! A real bear? Sure, that's what it sounded like. It, it's kind of a snuffle-like sound. I've heard it lots of times before at my uncle's place. And that's not so far from here. You mean that was a real bear, too? Sure it was. How do you know? Because I saw it. The one at my uncle's place I did. I don't care if he believes me or not. But I saw it. It was as close as you and me. I believe you. Well, anyway, I, I heard sounds like that tonight and... Well, I thought I'd better look around and see. Is that what adventurers have to do? Oh, no. Don't you little fellas go get yourselves all scared. Say, this isn't such a bad place to camp out at all. You want to stay with us? Yeah, would you? There's plenty of room. Well, now, that's an idea. Not that I'm scared. It's just that, well, it looks like it might be raining tonight and... Oh, well, if it'll make you guys happy, I guess so. Wow. Here, you can sleep by me. I'll go get some more blankets. No! Why not? Oh, well, you don't want to be bothering your folks or anyone. It doesn't matter. We've got lots of blankets. But I don't want your folks to know I'm here. I mean, oh, I'll be plenty warm enough. Remember what your dad said? Any more trips to the house and we'll stay there. Yeah. Oh, now, you don't want to spoil your camp out, do you? Here, put your gun right in front of us. We're not scared of bears, are we, Lassie? Listen, you know what I read a bear can do to dogs? Even big dogs. They just take one swat like that. And sometimes they squeeze them. And squish. Oh, but... Oh, well, you don't have to worry. I mean, no bear's gonna get to us. And anyway, I've got plenty of ammunition. That's our ring, isn't it? Uh, I'll get it. What on earth? Yes? Paul? That's not Uncle Petrie from Creston, is it? No, Jenny. Paul, is anything wrong? Yes, yes, I understand. Well, no, Jenny, I don't think so. Only 14 years old, you say? I see. Well, yes, yes, of course, Jenny. We'll let them know. Oh, no, no, that's all right. We were staying up late anyway. Good night, Jenny. Jenny, what is it? What's the matter? Somebody's sick? Well, she's phoning everybody. The, uh, the sheriff's office is looking for a boy from the city, a runaway. Oh, the poor thing. See. That camper that the boy saw was certainly more than 14 years old, wasn't he? Oh, yes, I think so, judging from the way they spoke. And besides, he was from a farm around here. This boy was visiting his uncle's farm, she said. What else did she say? Just that the boy and his uncle had quarreled, and the boy ran away. The uncle's pretty worried, of course. Well, Timmy said that the camp was just past our south corner post, and that tomorrow the boy was going to go even farther. I better go look around. City boy alone in the woods. That could be pretty frightening. You know, if it really is that boy, he's probably hoping that somebody is looking for him right now. <laughs> what about Timmy and Boomer? I'll let him sleep. There's enough moon, I can probably spot his camp myself.
Your job is here. You stay right here with Timmy and Boomer. around here? Hey, fella, can you hear me? Smell something. Gosh. Wow, look what's here. It's him. It's the bear. It's the same track he made near my uncle's farm. He's going that way, back toward my camp. We, we better go get your dad, Timmy. What's wrong? It doesn't work. Lassie? Lassie! Lassie! Come on, let's get out of here. But she'll get squeezed. What if the bear hits her? Please, Lassie, come back! You've got old Bessie. You can shoot him. Hurry, before she gets hurt. Yes, Jenny. Yes, P Paul told me all about it. He's gone out to look for him. He's what? The sheriff says he has a gun. Well, all right, Jenny. Yes, I will. Thanks for telling me. Goodbye. Boy! Boy, where are you? Boy! Where are you, boy? Yell at him, boy! 
don't know how. I, I've never shot a gun before. Sure was, son. Sir, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry about everything. Here now, what are you talking about? But if you're who I think you are, I guess you're about ready to go home now. Oh, thanks, Lassie, for saving us. And thanks for believing me. My uncle's farm is just on the other side of the ridge. His name is Nelson. Well, I'll telephone him and tell him you're all right. Come on. Come on. Do you suppose Chuck's uncle will give him a lucky? Dad won't let him, will he, Mom? No, no. He sounded like a very nice man on the telephone. He wouldn't even believe there was a bear. He said Chuck was just telling stories. Chuck told us. I'll bet he's an old grouch. Well, do you think that running away from home was the right way for Chuck to try and settle things? No, ma'am. Nobody should ever run away from home. <laughs> well, they both cried. Chuck found out that his uncle really loves him. And his uncle found out you have to learn to understand youngsters, even if it involves a bear. Lassie knew Chuck was telling the truth. Where are you going? We've got to finish our camp out. Oh, no, you don't. There's been enough of that for one night. <laughs> Looks as though Lassie thinks so, too. Don't you, girl? We sure had an adventure, didn't we, Lassie? Oh, <laughs> 